Okay, hi mathematicians. Uh, we are going to check your work, okay? And when you check your work, sometimes you get something wrong and you're like, ah, but I don't want you to do that, okay? Because anytime you make a mistake, that's just a chance to learn and to fix it and to figure out what you did wrong and to do it better the next time. If you knew everything there was to know about second grade math right now, you probably wouldn't be in second grade math with me, right? So um, it's just right to be learning things and to be sometimes getting things wrong and to be sometimes getting things right and to be just growing your mathematical brain, okay? Um, that's why it's important to use a pencil because we make mistakes all the time. I make mistakes all the time as a mathematician. I've been doing math for uh, more years than I want to share right now with you. So, <laughs> okay, so I'm going to share my screen and let's just double check your work. So if you're watching this, that, that means that you have finished these pages in your book. Um, it is, let me double check. It means you finished 17 and 18 at least. And maybe some of you tried 19. You don't have to have tried 19 to, to be checking, but at least 17 and 18 you're done with and you're just checking your work, okay? All right, let's see here. Okay, so the first set here. I'm gonna see if I can just draw my answers. Okay, so it says fill in each table to show how many dots are in each collection. Do we have 100 in that collection, that first collection? No, we have zero hundreds. Okay, let's see here. So we have zero hundreds and then we have how many sets of 10? How many rows? One, two, three, four. We have five sets of 10, so five rows. And how many ones? How many left over that aren't in rows? Zero. Okay, so that means we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 dots, right? Okay, there were none hanging out there. All righty, let's check this one. Any hundreds? For this one? Nope, not yet, right? How many full rows? One, two, three, four. We have five sets of 10, five full rows. And this time, three of the dots are missing. And I know that 10 minus three is seven. So rather than going one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, if I wanted a really super efficient way, I could go 10 minus three. There are seven in that row. Seven ones, okay? So my total is 57, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and then seven. Okay, let's do this next one. How many hundreds? Zero again. How many rows? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rows of complete tens, right? And then three ones for a total of 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 83, right? Okay, what about this one? Zero hundreds for sure on that one. One full complete row, two ones, right? So 10, 11, 12. Our number is 12, see? One 10, two ones is 12. Okay, let's do the next page. And remember, you correct, and you can go back in the video if I was going too fast, go back and see if you did something wrong, erase and fix it, okay? Okay, let's zoom in here. Okay, number five. Ooh, now we have, look at that, now we have hundreds. Okay, so we have 100. How many complete rows do we have? one complete row of 10, and then we have two ones. So it's 100, 10, 11, 12, 100, and 12, okay? How many hundreds? One, how many complete rows of 10? Two, how many ones? Three, for a total of 100, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 100, and 23. There we go. We're zooming right along. How many hundreds? One. How many tens? One, two, three, four, five, six full rows of 10. 
And we have three less than 10 on here. So I know that's seven without counting them individually. So for a total of 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 167, right? One, six, seven. All righty. How many hundreds here? Almost two. Look at that. Almost two, but not quite. Still only one. And then we have, I can tell that there are nine full rows because I know there are 10 rows in the 10 by 10 array and only one of the rows is missing, a dot. So I know there are nine full rows and I know that there are nine ones because it's only missing one from a 10, from a full 10, right? So 10 minus one is nine. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 99, 199. If you added one more dot to the group of dots in problem eight, how many dots would there be? We would have two full hundreds, right? And two full hundreds is two hundred, okay? How are you doing, okay? If it's not making sense, go back and watch it again, all right, so that it makes sense. It's okay if you make mistakes, just go back and make sure you understand what you did and what you need to change, all right? Okay, last one here, lots of dots challenge. Put a circle around, now this one I will say, of all the pages in, um, I would say the first half of second grade math, the two pages that are, the most kind of confusing and frustrating to some kids are the riddles that we just were working on and this page. It gets a little confusing. So we can either do it together or you can check what you did and see if you agree with me, all right? So it says, put a circle around the 190th dot. So we know this is 100. 110, 120, 130, 140, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. But if I circled this one, I would be wrong. Do you know why? Because I don't have 90 until I get to the end here. I don't really have 10 until I'm all the way here counting this last dot. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. So the 190th dot is actually this one right there, okay? And this is 191, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. This is the 200th dot because then I would have 200 dots if I got to right there. Okay, so this is 200 and I need to find the 212th dot. So I know this is 200 up to here, okay? That's 200 and then I have 210, 211, 212. That's the 212th dot right there okay because i have to get all the way to here to have 200 i have to get all the way to the end of this row to have 210 and then 211 212 okay let's switch colors let's do blue for this next one okay the 480th dot so 100 200 300 400 i have to get all the way to here to get to 400 right 480th dot, it says. So 410, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 480th dot is this one right there. Okay, 657th dot. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. I have to get all the way to here to have 600, okay? But I need the 657th dot. So 610, 20, 30, 40, 50, 650, 651, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. The 657th dot is that one right there. See it? Okay, I'm going to change colors again. Let's do, let's do orange. 
Okay, 804th dot. Whew. Okay, so 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. I have to get all the way to here to get 800. And then I need the 104th dot. So 800 and 801, 802, 803, 804th dot is right there. Okay, the 999th dot. Oh my goodness. Okay, so 100, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 800, 900. I have to get all the way to this last dot to get to 900 dots, right? And I need the 999th dot. So you know that is going to be way down here, right? 910, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. This is 990th, 991, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99th, 999th dot is right there. This one is going to be the thousandth dot. This one. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna check that one off and then we need to find the 500th. Let's make that one green, the 500th dot. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. I don't get to 500 until this very last one. Okay, so this one is the 500th dot. And this one would be 501. Okay, so the 500th dot is right there. And I am going to, hmm, I was gonna put it out a little bit so you could freeze it. Okay, so you could pause it right on here to see the red ones. If you wanted to see the blue ones, they're right there. Orange and green right there. Okay, and you can go back and watch why those are the different dots by going back a little bit in the video. Okay, so those are tricky. It's tricky. It's good to think about why I'm, I don't really actually have 500 until I'm at the very end of that fifth hundredth set of hundred. <laughs> okay, good job on counting rows. You did a great job. Make sure you corrected anything with pencil and eraser, okay? And check in with me if you have questions, okay? Good job.